Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really quick and easy cup cozy. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I designed this cup cozy with the idea of being a very quick and easy last minute teacher's gift and this cup cozy actually can come in two different sizes. And I also thought it was really cute little idea to do with these adorable buttons that I found. So you can see here I have two different mug sizes. This is what I would call now the standard mug size that I made with the Owl Cup Cozy. And then the other ones are just smaller cup size that you often get when making custom print mugs. So there is a size for each. For this project, you're just going to need some yarn. I have a little bit of red, a little bit of green, and a little bit of brown for the Apple Cup Cozy. I'm also going to need scissors, a yarn needle, a stitch marker, and a size H 5 millimeter crochet hook. And of course, you're just going to need a really cute button. I got some owl buttons and some bug buttons at Walmart. So to get started, we're just going to make a slip knot, and then we are going to chain. And it depends on which size you're making. For a small mug cozy, you're going to make chain 34. And for a large one, which I'm doing here, I am going to chain 40. And if you want to adjust this, this is just fine. Any even number of chains will work just fine for this project. So moving on to row one, we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And I am going to turn my chain forward and single crochet into the back bumps. But if this is hard for you, feel free to single crochet into the chain any way that works best for you. I'm going to single crochet in each chain across and at the end I should have a total of 39 single crochet or if you adjusted it you should have a total of any odd number will work in this situation. For the smaller size you would have a total of 33 single crochet at the end of row 1. So here I am at the end of row 1 and you may notice that I haven't given you a gauge for this project. And it's because instead, it's really hard to check your gauge with a stitch pattern. So instead, just take a measuring tool and measure your piece. For the larger piece, you should be looking at around 11 inches. And for the smaller cup cozy, you're going to be hoping it's around about nine and a half inches in order to make it match. And I found this is much easier to do with, uh, with just measuring it now than trying to figure out a gauge. If you're making something custom, then just take your row one, wrap it around your cup, and make sure it's about half an inch from meeting all the way around without stretching it. So now we're going to continue on to row two. For row two, we are just going to chain one and turn our work. We are going to both single crochet and then double crochet into the first stitch. So into the same stitch as the single crochet, we will work a double crochet. Now we are going to skip a stitch and in the following stitch, we are going to single crochet and double crochet. Skip a stitch again and in the next one, single crochet and double crochet. And this will be our stitch pattern all the way across. Continue repeating the stitch pattern until you only have two stitches left. When you only have two stitches left, you're going to skip the second to last stitch and work a single crochet into the very last stitch. So that is our row two. And now all we need to do is repeat row two until we have a total of eight rows. But before we start going on to our next row, go ahead and chain one and turn and work your first set of stitches. So it's going to be a single crochet and a double crochet into the first stitch. All right, now we are going to take our stitch marker and mark the side of the beginning of row three. We're going to use this later, so just leave it there and forget about it. Now to continue, I'm going to skip a stitch and work a single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. And just continue repeating that pattern all the way across 
Again, repeating row two until you have a total of eight rows. So here I am at the end of row eight. I'm going to skip the second to last stitch and single crochet in the very last stitch. So that is the body of our cup cozy. And now we are going to go ahead and make the loop. To do this, we are going to chain 10. After you've chained 10, we're going to go down to where that stitch marker is at the side of row 3, and we're going to slip stitch into the side of row 3. Go ahead and remove your stitch marker and slip stitch into the side of row 2. Now you will turn your work and we are going to work 13 single crochets around that chain that we made. So you're not going into the chain but you're just simply going around it. And again, we're going to work 13 single crochets. So once you've worked those 13 single crochets, we're going to again repeat the same rows we've been doing throughout the project. So you're going to chain single crochet one, sorry, double crochet into the same stitch. I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to mark that first single crochet because we will need it for next row. We're going to skip a stitch and single crochet and double crochet into the next stitch. Skip a stitch, single crochet and double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that all the way across our project. When you reach the last two stitches, you'll skip the second to last stitch and single crochet into the very last stitch. Now we're going to chain one and turn, and we're going to work our final row, which is row 10. In row 10, we're just going to single crochet and every stitch across to give us a nice flat top to our cup cozy. You're going to single crochet across ending where you placed your stitch marker because we don't want to go down around the loop another time we just want to end where that stitch marker is so once you get that last single crochet made you can fasten off yarn over and pull through the very last loop to tighten it and now you'll just need to weave in your ends at this point take a really cute button go to the side without the loop and sew your button on about one inch from the edge of the cup cozy. I decided to use a cute little B button for this particular cup cozy. I'm going to go ahead and speed this process up, but all I am doing is sewing on this button and knotting it on the back side and weaving in my ends. So now we're going to make the stem for our little apple. Make sure you leave enough of a yarn in so you can sew this to your cup cozy when you're done. Make a slip knot, and all we're going to do is chain three. Now we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and into the third chain from the hook. Again, I'm working into the back bumps. It's hard to see because I'm using a very dark brown but work into the chain in any way that is most comfortable for you. And then I'm going to work one more single crochet. So after working those two single crochets, I'm just going to fasten off, yarn over and pull the loop through the last loop on the hook and pull it all the way through and there is my little stem so I'm just going to position this 
here and then I'm just going to put the stem sew it on right here in the middle. Once that is sewn on the next step is to make a cute little leaf to go next to our stem. So I'm going to use a green yarn and make a slip knot. This leaf is going to be worked all in one row and we're going to work on both sides of our chains. So we're going to start by chaining five, three, four, and five. Working into the side of the chain, I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. I'm going to half double crochet into the next chain. I'm going to single crochet into the third chain. and then slip stitch into the last chain. Now to get to the other side, I will chain one, turn my work so that I'm working down the other side. I'm also going to work over the tail of my yarn. Into that first chain, we are going to work a slip stitch. Into the next chain, we're going to work a single crochet. The next chain will be a half double crochet. Into the very last chain we will work a single crochet. And then we're going to turn and slip stitch to the very first single crochet. Now we can fasten off leaving enough yarn to be able to sew this piece to our cup cozy. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through the very last loop to fasten off and then use those two yarn ends to sew your little leaf right under your stem. And that is it. You've completed your little apple cup cozy. You can also make a tree or owl version by making the base in brown. I made six little leaves for this version and just sewed them kind of randomly all over the cup cozy to kind of go with the owl theme, the wise old owl theme. So these are the two cup cozies. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I would love to know what you like to give teachers for teacher's gifts and make sure to check out my other tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.